back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number six from the January 2023 Pure Mathematics P1 International A-Level at Excel exam. This question here is about radian measure. It says figure one shows a plan view for the design of a stage. The design consists of a sector OBC with center O joined to two congruent triangles OAB and ODC. So a few important points here is that these two triangles are congruent. That might help us. They're congruent triangles. All right. Now, it says, given that angle BOC equals 2.4 radians, so I've got the copy of this diagram here to make it easier to look, um, to look at. So BOC, this is the sector BOC here. So that angle here is 2.4 radians. So that's 2.4 radians. The area of sector BOC is 40 meters squared. So the area of this part here, this section here, is 40 meters squared. AOD is a straight line of length 12.5 meters. So we can see that this is a straight line here. From there to there is 12.5 meters. Okay, so that's 12.5 meters all the way from there to there, A to D. So that means that's a half of 12.5, which is 6.25. So you can say the radius of this is 6.25 meters. 6.25 meters. So that's radius like O, B, O, A, O, C, all of those. Um, find the radius of the sector, okay, giving your answer to two decimal places. So the radius of the sector. So 6.25 is this length here. Now, okay, now, I don't think that that is a radius. It doesn't tell us that these two triangles are, are isosceles. It doesn't tell us that. Okay, OA and OD are not necessarily the radius of this. Okay, that's not, doesn't mean that, um, you know, this is part of this semicircle. Some people might get confused by that or, or fooled by that, thinking that this is a semicircle and this A and D are part of that. And this is a cause, but no, we can't assume that here. It doesn't tell us that these two triangles are isosceles. So I can't assume that OB and OC is the same as OA and, as, and OD, as I first mentioned in the beginning when I was writing this down. 6.25 for sure is OA and OD, but is it the same as OB and OC? Well, we can't assume that because we don't know that these two tri this triangle and this triangle are isosceles triangles. Okay, so I can't assume that OB and OA are the same length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find what OB is by using the fact that we know the area um, and we know the angle for this sector. So I know that the area of a sector is given by the formula a half r squared theta when the angle is measured in radians. And I know the area is 40. And I know the angle is 2.4. 2.4. So I can, the only thing that I don't know is R here. So I can say that this is 40 equals half of 2.4 2 is 1.2, half of R squared. So R is going to be the square root of 40 divided by 1.2. Okay, so that will give us an answer for R. So let's work out what that is. You have the square root of 40 divided by 1.2. That gives you 10 root 3 over 3, 10 root 3 over 3. That's the value of the radius, okay, which I can I have to round to, through, to two decimal places. So that gives you 5.7735, 5.7735. So therefore, we can say to, three, to two decimal places, it's 5.77 meters. So that's the radius. So, of course, it's not isosceles, that means, right? So that's the radius of this sector okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to save um this answer here as a all right i'm just going to write a little a next to it so that's a in my calculator in case uh, i need to use this value again i'll use it in its more exact form then for for part b it says find the size of angle a o b now that's the size of this angle over here all right now it's only worth one mark, and it's pretty obvious that AB is a straight line. So these are congruent triangles, as, as we mentioned, they're congruent triangles. So this angle is the same as this angle. So let's call this angle theta, and this is also theta. They're both theta, because they're both the same. I know that 
AOB, the angle AOB, is equal to the angle um, COD, right? And I'll call the angle theta, right? So that angle is theta. So therefore, I can say that 2 theta plus 180, now, of course, we're dealing with radians, so we'll say plus pi is, um, sorry, 2 theta plus 2.4 is equal to pi. So 2 theta, 2 theta plus 2.4, when you add them together, you get this straight line, so that the whole angle is 180 degrees, or pi radians. So we can say that theta, therefore, is pi minus 2.4, then divided by 2. So that will give us the answer for theta. So we have pi minus 2.4 divided by 2, which gives us 0 0.37079, 0, 0 0.37079, dot, dot, dot. So we can say that this is to two decimal places, 0 0.37 radians. So there's the answer for part B. And again, in case I need this answer again, I'm going to store this as B in my calculator. So this is now B in my calculator, the more exact form of it. All right, so I have A and B in my calculator. That's the radius and the, the, the angle here, which is the angle uh, which is the angle of the triangle, these two congruent triangles here. Okay, then it says, hence find the total area of the stage, giving your answer in meters squared to one decimal place. So we already have the area of the sector, which is 40 meters squared. So we got to find the area of this triangle and the area of this triangle. Okay, and they're both congruent. So it's going to be the area of the sector. So it's going to be 40 meters squared plus two times the area of triangle. You can just choose one of them. Um, a or B. Because those two triangles together, added together or multiplied by two, plus the area of this will be the area of the whole shape. So we've got to think about how to find the area of the whole shape, of, of the triangle AOB. So you're going to have 40 plus two times, and now the area of a triangle when we have the two sides. Now I know that this, this side is 10 root 3 over 3. This is the radius here. So I have this angle. I have these two sides. I can use a half AB sine theta. I know that the area of a triangle is given by, the area of a triangle is given by a half AB sine C. Two sides and the angle between them. So I have, I have a half times A, which is one of the lengths, which is 6.25, times the other length, which is the radius of the sector, which is 10 root 3 over 3. 10 root 3 over 3 times the sine of the angle 0 0.3707. Da, da, da. That's the angle theta that we have stored in the calculator as B. So now, if I put this in my calculator, this will give me my answer. So I have a lot of things already stored in my calculator that I need. So let's just do 40 plus 2 times. Well, two times a half, they'll cancel out. So I can, I can cancel that with the half already straight away. That's fine. I don't have to write that. But I can put plus, I've got 6.25 times. And then I'm going to, this is the, this is A, 10 root 3 over 3. Okay. Uh, times the sine of the angle, which I've stored as B. So shift, that's recall. And that's B, which is the angle there. And that should give me my answer, which is 53.0754. 53.0754. So therefore, the area is 53.1 meters squared. That's the area to one decimal place. So there's part C done of this question. Okay, that's finding the total area of the stage. Now for part D. It says, find the total perimeter of the stage. So these are our angles that we found from the um, question. So, and I also know this length that was 10 root 3 over 3, the radius here. Okay, everything else is shown. That's okay. It says, the total perimeter of the stage. So the perimeter of the stage is made up of, you can say, AD plus AB plus CD plus the arc BC. The arc from B to C. Okay, so AD, I know this is 
A, B and C, D, I have to find them. So we've got to find this and this and the arc B, C. So let's, let's start with um, A, B. To find A, B, I could use the sign rule. Okay. Um, could I use the sign rule? Yeah, because I can find what this angle is. I could use the cosine rule. I'm going to use the cosine rule because I think that's going to be easier here because we know this angle, which was, as we mentioned before, over here, it was 0 0.3709, 3707. Okay, 0 0.3707. I have it stored in my calculator anyway. So I can say AB, I can use the cosine rule, is equal to the square root of. Now for the cosine rule, I have B squared plus C squared, which is these two sides. So I have 6.25 squared plus 10 root 3 over 3 squared minus 2 times 6.25 times 10 root 3 over 3, 2bc times the cosine of the angle, 0 0.3707. Okay, that was, that's what's going to give me what AB. That's going to give me AB. So I'll find that out. I can put that in my calculator. I have the square root of 6.25 squared. Plus, now this is recall A. That's the answer in my calculator for the length squared. Minus 2 times 6.25 times, again, recall A. Okay, so that's that number there. Times the cosine of. Now, we have to make sure, by the way, we're in radian mode, which I should have mentioned before. Okay, when we're finding the area, we must be in radian mode, which we are. And, you know, I should have checked that before, actually, when I found the area. We are in radian mode, so that's fine. Okay, it's very, very important because we're dealing with angles and radians. That's very, very important. But that now is uh, stored as, so I'll put shift, recall, B, that's the angle. That should give me the length of AB. So it's 2.2653. 2.2653. Okay, I will also store this as C, so I'll put store as C. Okay, so this is C in my calculator, right, just to keep everything as accurate as possible. That's AB. So I've got AB plus CD, which are the same. So AB and CD are equal because um, they are both, uh, these are congruent triangles. So AB and BCD are both equal in length. Now we've got to find the arc of BC, the arc of BC. So the length of the arc is given by the formula R times theta. Okay, so we have, and, and the theta here, I mean the angle here. Okay, the angle here, all right? So in this case, the theta, I mean the angle of the sector. So here I have um, the radius, which is 10 root 3 over 3 times um, 2.4. That's going to give me the length of the arc. So the length of the arc is equal to, I'll have... Um, my answer, so I'll have shift, recall A, that's 10 root 3 times 2.4. That gives me 8 root 3, so 8 root 3 is my length of my arc. I'll leave it in this form because I'm, you know, it's not my final answer. So therefore, the total perimeter is, four, is going to be, sorry, 12.5. Uh, 12 I'll put it a bit neater than that. 12.5. Plus 8 root 3 plus 2 times 2.2653. And that will be the perimeter of the whole shape. So I can just put that in my calculator now. I have 12.5 plus 8 root 3 and plus 2 times. And I'll recall the answer for C, which was what I had earlier stored there. And that gives me the whole perimeter of the shape, which is 30.887, 30.887. And they want us to round it to one decimal place. So therefore, the perimeter is equal to 30.9 meters. Okay, so that's the length of the outline of the shape. Remember, we don't include these lines because they're inside the shape. It's the outline of the shape that they want. So that concludes question number six. Um, and 
Yeah, so there's the answer to that question. Other questions from this particular paper, this Pure Mathematics P1 January 2023 exam can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of radian measure in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.